Hey everybody, this is Dolores. Happy Sunday mid-afternoon, people. I'm on here because I was preparing to go to church and I was intent to share this, but I did share with Par Periscope and I'm going to share with you all. Because God is good all the time and all the time God is good. And when God gives you something to share with people, you share it and be obedient to the word. Now, do not get me wrong. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a minister. But I have been directed to tell of the good news. And as I was preparing to go to church this morning, I was sitting here just, just minding my own business. And God dropped in my spirit and asked a question. He said, um, you're always wondering why you're living from paycheck to paycheck. And you're always wondering why you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. And you're wondering how to make ends meet. He immediately spoke and said, I am ends meet. So I'm up here trying to figure out, what? Huh? And so I got thinking, God is the head and the ruler of my life. I have confessed Jesus Christ in my life and Lord and I'm telling you all this because I'm sharing this with you to get a testimony from me that God gave to me which is a revelation to you as well as myself because the word is a two-edged sword okay so don't get it twisted I'm, I'm no exception okay and um, he said I am the beginning I am the end I am Alpha and I am Omega so with that being said with God's being ends me which is normally a circle because you're trying to make the two ends meet. You know, living from paycheck to paycheck. You know, living from the next income to the next income. Living in between blessings. We are not supposed to be living like that. We are not even supposed to be suffering like that. The reason why we're living and suffering like that because we did not put God first in our life. We have not confessed Jesus Christ in our life and professed Him as Lord in our life. And we are not doing what we are supposed to be doing. And that's putting God first in our life. Paying tithes in the church. I know some of y'all, blah, 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 blah. then this is not for you, okay? This message is for somebody, whoever it is, they're going to get it, okay? And pay your 10% or more. Be a cheerful giver without a doubt. Don't worry about where the money going, where your money in the church is going. Don't worry about any of that. Charge it to the game, okay? Do your part. And when you pay your tithes, be faithful in your tithes, okay? Pay your tithes just like you're paying a car payment, just like you're paying your rent, just like you pay your insurance. Pay your tithes. God wants the first and he wants the best of everything. Let me explain something to you. If you get paid on a Monday, pay your tithes on Monday. Don't try to hold on to your money until... Sunday to pay your tithes because Satan is always busy. He know that you're holding on to that money, so something's always going to come up that you got to use that money for something, okay? The reason why I'm speaking this to you all because I just came out of a storm. And while I was in the storm, God also ministered to me to let me know that my blessing is my blessing. My blessing is not to share with everybody else. I also, while I was in the storm, I attended a revival that <gasps> revived me, brought me back to life, okay? And let me know that there is no sin in saying no. So if you got it, you got it. But you don't have it to give because you don't have it to spare. Okay? So that's point one on that one. Okay? So while you're doing your tithes, pay your tithes faithfully. If you get paid on Monday, get in touch with your preacher. Get in touch with somebody in the congregation. Even if you want to get a receipt, get a receipt. But who cares? Just do your part because God sees everything. Pay your tithes on Monday. Okay? Call your pastor. Call your pastor's wife. Call the deacon. Call the secretary. Call the treasurer. Get your tithes to the house of God. Break your neck to get it there. Like you break your neck to get to the clubs. We break our necks to the nail shop when we break a nail. Or we got to get our hair done, you know, when it's all messed up, you know. Break your neck to get your tithe to the church. If you break your neck to get your ties to the church and you be obedient unto God and what God has in store for you, you will see all your change and bundles begin to break. 
I am a living witness. I am a living testimony. And when God gave me this, I had to share it with you all. So here is your solution to living from paycheck to paycheck, robbing Peter to pay Paul, and trying to make ends meet. God is the head and the ruler of our lives. God is the beginning and the end. He is Alpha and Omega. Put God first in your life. Pay your tithes faithfully. Do the things according to what God has instructed you to do. And you will see an overflow and abundance of health, wealth, and prosperity in your life. Everybody, this is Dolores. May God have a blessing on the hearers and the doers of his word. If you don't believe me, try God for yourself. If you don't believe me, get a personal relationship with God for yourself. Until the next video, you all have a good one.